Get ready for a journey into the weird and wonderful as we explore the most bizarre discoveries unearthed from drained waters. From hidden treasures to unexpected artifacts, these finds are sure to leave you astonished. But first, let's take a look at what they found in the Red Sea. Red Sea Statue In Egypt's historic Berenice port on the Red Sea, an intriguing discovery has been made, a statue of Buddha. This artifact, unearthed during a dig at the ancient temple by a joint Polish-U.S. mission, is believed to hail from the Roman era, according to an announcement from the Antiquities Ministry. The find is especially significant as it sheds light on the trade connections that existed between Egypt and India during the Roman Empire. Egypt's Supreme Antiquities Council, led by Mustafa al-Waziri, emphasizes the importance of this discovery in revealing these ancient trade ties. The Buddha statue stands at a height of a medium-sized luggage, though it is missing part of its right side and right leg. It features a distinctive halo encircling Buddha's head, and a lotus flower is placed by his side. This revelation from Berenice not only showcases the interconnectedness of different cultures and regions in the past, but also underscores the archaeological treasures that continue to be unearthed, providing us with valuable insights into our historical heritage. Castro Candaz. In Spain's Galicia region, they've stumbled upon the remains of an old Roman fort called Castro Candaz. This hilltop castle had been sitting underwater in a reservoir, but the recent severe drought has lowered the water levels so much that its streets and structures are now exposed for all to see. This drought is a pretty worrying sign since Spain is grappling with a water scarcity problem. It's the fourth driest year on record, with reservoirs holding just 35% of their capacity. Drone footage has given us a good look at the fort's tiered walls, and you can even take a stroll through it now. Water troubles have plagued this arid landscape for centuries, and you can find remnants of Roman aqueducts nearby, which used to ferry water to towns and farms. It's worth noting that, due to rising temperatures and changing weather patterns caused by human-induced climate change, large parts of Spain could turn into deserts by the end of the century. So these ancient ruins aren't just a cool historical site. They're also a stark reminder of the potential disaster looming ahead. Ancient Piers of Nero's Bridge Back in 2022, Italy was currently grappling with its most severe drought in seven decades, and that arid spell had unveiled a remarkable relic of ancient times. The Piers of Nero's Bridge, which once served as a passage for Roman emperors, have re-emerged from the depths of the Tiber River, thanks to the low water levels caused by the ongoing dry conditions. Situated close to the Vittorio Emanuele Bridge near the Vatican, two of the bridge's piers have been visible for much of the summer. They now stand as moss-covered rocks, often occupied by sunbathing seagulls. This ancient bridge, originally constructed in the first century for Emperor Nero, allowed him to access his gardens near Janiculum Hill, close to present-day St. Peter's Square, according to historian Anthony Mayanladi. The historically low water levels in the Tiber River due to Italy's widespread drought have provided an uncommon opportunity to witness more of the bridge's piers than usual. In a typical year with normal water levels, one of the piers might occasionally become visible during the driest season. However, in 2022, due to the severity of the drought, two piers made a rare appearance. Ancient Roman Ghost Town Due to an extended dry spell in Spain, the whole Roman settlement of Aquis Querquenis, which had been submerged when they created a reservoir, is now fully visible. The Asconchas Reservoir in Galicia, northwest Spain, usually covers it, but the severe drought has lowered water levels, revealing this historical site. Spain has been going through one of its worst droughts in years, with rivers and reservoirs shrinking due to summer heat waves. The Roman camp dates to around 75 AD and was abandoned in 120 AD. In 1948, they flooded it to form the reservoir, and most of it stayed underwater. Only portions of the site are typically visible, but in August 2022, thanks to the record-breaking heat, the entire Roman camp emerged. Impressive photos show ancient fortified walls and building remains. This long-lasting drought in Spain has dropped the reservoir's water levels to just 49% of their maximum. Aquis Quercenis served as a temporary fort and military base for the Romans during the construction of the historic Via Nova Road. It included a temple, infirmary, and barracks for around 600 soldiers. 
The Romans left the site around 120 AD, and it remained forgotten until local archaeologist Florentino Lopez Cuevillas rediscovered it in the 1920s. 400-year-old church. Well, talk about a surprise. There's a 16th century church making a comeback from the depths of a Mexican reservoir. This is a new site that nobody saw the year before. The reason behind this resurrection? A severe drought had dropped the water level by a whopping 82 feet in the Nezahualcoyotl Reservoir. They call it the Temple of Santiago, and it's sitting right in the middle of the watershed leading to the Grijalva River. Interestingly, this isn't the first time it's resurfaced. Back in 2002, the water level got so low that people could actually wander inside. Taking a trip down memory lane, this church has colonial roots. Spanish friar Bartolomé de las Casas, along with a group of monks, constructed the Temple of Santiago. Initially, Las Casas believed in subjugating the native people, but he had a change of heart and advocated for abolishing slavery. He even convinced King Charles of Spain to grant freedom to the natives. However, when conquistadors and settlers rebelled, Charles rolled back much of the new legislation. As for the church, it fell into disuse during the plagues of the 1770s. Rediscovered in the 20th century, the church held a large ossuary containing the remains of the plague's victims, which had devastated the area. Nazi battleships. So, you wouldn't believe what was happening in eastern Serbia, near the town of Prahovo, as Europe baked in a heat wave. The Danube River, you know, the one that flows through 10 countries all the way from Germany to the Black Sea, had dropped its water levels, revealing a hidden piece of history. It turns out there was this whole deal with a Nazi German flotilla of warships that was intentionally scuttled there during the final days of World War II. The big news is that these wrecks, around 20 of them, have emerged from the depths. They're just hanging out near Prohovo, all exposed. But here's the twist. These warships are basically time capsules filled with tons of unexploded ammo. That's not a great party favor for the local fishermen, river traffic, or wildlife. So Serbia's government is planning to deal with them. But the kicker is that as the water levels drop due to the heat wave, these war wrecks become even riskier. Some of them are practically showing off now, with turrets, command bridges, broken masts, and twisted hulls peeking above the receding water. Others are still playing hide-and-seek under sandbanks. It's like history rising to the surface, but it comes with a bang, literally. Hunger Stones This is like a message from the past. A stark and eerie warning etched on a rock in the Elba River, near Dacen in the Czech Republic, not far from the German border. The translation reads, If you see me, then weep. What is the reason behind this haunting inscription? Europe was going through one of the worst droughts in half a millennium. As the rivers dry up, they're revealing all sorts of hidden treasures, from Roman camps to abandoned villages and shipwrecks from World War II. They call it a hunger stone, and you can find dozens of them in the rivers of Central Europe. These stones have been carved with marks indicating historic drought levels. They're like time capsules, warning us about the famine and suffering that came every time they became visible. Most of these grim reminders are found in the Elba, a river that runs from the Czech Republic through Germany to the North Sea. Some are also scattered along the Rhine, Danube, and Moselle rivers. It's not just a history lesson, it's a glimpse into the past and perhaps a wake-up call for our future. Bomb in the Po Summer's heat waves in Europe have been causing quite a stir, and not just because of the scorching temperatures. Over in Italy, the River Po is suffering from a severe drought, and guess what it revealed? A World War II bomb that had been hidden underwater all this time. So on a hot day in July 2022, some fishermen stumbled upon this massive thousand-pound bomb near Borgo Virgilio, a village close to Mantua. As you can imagine, it's not every day you find a bomb just chilling by the river. Dealing with it wasn't a walk in the park, though. They had to evacuate about 3,000 people living nearby and put the brakes on the whole area. Airspace was closed, river traffic came to a standstill, and even the railway and the nearby state road were halted. But the bomb squad, along with the police, got to work. They removed the fuse from this US-made beast, which contained 530 pounds of explosive material. Then, they carefully moved it to a quarry about 30 miles away in Midol and safely got rid of it. Crazy stuff, right? Such is nature's way of uncovering history. Viking artifacts. 
It's like a history lesson from the ice. So, in the icy mountain ranges of Norway, something amazing's happening because of global warming. Over 800 Viking artifacts have emerged from their deep freeze, some of them waiting there for more than a thousand years. These discoveries are shedding light on this mountain pass, which wasn't just some remote spot. Nope, it turns out it was a key player in the Viking trade network. They were using it to haul all sorts of stuff between farms, like cheese, butter, reindeer pelts, and antlers. How cool is that? Archaeologists found a leather shoe, a woolen mitten, and even a tunic in one of these melted ice patches. And that's not all. Feathered arrowheads, horseshoes, a horse snowshoe, walking sticks, sled parts, kitchen gear, and yes, even some Viking pack horse droppings. They also stumbled upon these stone cairns marking the way, plus a stone shelter at the top of the ice patch. So, despite the tough weather and the remote location, it seems like these mountains were pretty busy with travelers back in Viking times. Submerged Island Check this out. Down in China's Chongqing City, the Yangtze River's water levels have taken a nosedive and it's unveiling some hidden treasures. State media Xinhua reports that they've discovered a submerged island, Foyeliang, and on that island, they found three Buddhist statues that are believed to be around 600 years old. These ancient statues were hanging out on the highest part of the island reef, and they were initially thought to have been built during the Ming and Qing dynasties. One of them even shows a monk chilling on a lotus pedestal. Pretty cool, right? The thing is, the Yangtze River has been drying up like crazy because of a drought and a heat wave that's been scorching China's southwestern region. It's been a tough summer, with rainfall in the Yangtze Basin plummeting by about 45% since July, and the hot weather isn't giving up anytime soon. So, it's no surprise that, as of August 19th, 2022, as many as 66 rivers in 34 counties around Chongqing have completely dried up. Nature's revealing its hidden gems in the most unexpected ways. See you all next time.